Princess Twilight Sparkle. Welcome. Who are you? The answer to that question is complicated. We'll address it in due time, but for now... You may refer to me as Vesper. Okay, Vesper. Why am I here? How did I get here? Where is here? Why does this place look like the castle of the... Trust me when I say none of that matters right now. Here's what's really important. Celeste? How did you get that? Did something happen to her? Did you? Enough questions. All you need to know is that I am not your enemy, Twilight Sparkle. If you want to leave this place, all you have to do is take the crown. And then what? And give it to someone else who deserves it more than Celestia. Oh! Um, what? Nothing. I just thought you were going a whole different direction with... That I wanted you to rule Equestria? No, you wouldn't like that, would you? So much power, so much responsibility, so little time to spend with your friends. So long as you're no longer under the strings of a deluded tyrant. Come again? You heard me. Celestia, incompetent. Evil. The former, more likely. She is not! No. Well, then tell me this. How many times has she let Equestria suffer when she could fix the problem herself? How many times has she put your life on the line as a means of teaching you? How many of her poor decisions have backfired and made you suffer? I... I... Can't we talk about this? Celestia is a wonderful ruler, and I'm sure if we sit down and discuss it, I could change your mind? That's unlikely. I would prefer not to waste time. But if you force this on me, then you're no better than you claim Celestia to be. Fine, you have a point there. Oh, thank goodness. Now, Twilight Sparkle, let me show you the truth about Celestia. Let's start with something memorable. The Nightmare Moon. I'm aware she can use the elements of harmony for whatever reason, but I find this troubling. She sent you a simple unicorn at the time, and five other girls on a mission to save the world against an alicorn with unbelievable magical powers and strength, instead of an army, or even lifting a single hook to help you herself. Well, okay, um, well, she couldn't make an army, but it didn't work so well the first time. They lost pretty quickly. No, I mean over time. Preparations. Build up a large army to take Nightmare Moon down when she reappears. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, I think you underestimate the value of a good plan and some preparation. Celestia had a thousand years after all, but what puzzles me is she felt the need to keep it all a secret, even from you. Surely you would have 
been able to evade so much of the danger had you been a little more prepared. Prepared how? She could have at least told you about it all first. You sure that would have worked? Back then, I didn't want friends of any kind. If I were told I had to make friends in order to save the world, I likely would have seen them as a means to an end, and they wouldn't really be my friends. Honesty, kindness, generosity, loyalty, laughter. I wouldn't have recognized any of those virtues if I hadn't experienced them like I did. Is that your logic? or your feelings telling you that. I agree that if it did end up like you claim, that would have jeopardized the whole thing. That's the problem here. We don't really know what could have happened. As you said, Celestia had a thousand years to make a plan, and she picked this one. I admit it was a tricky gambit that placed me and all my friends in danger. But it worked in the end, so I can't blame her for that. I still believe it was too risky. But you're right about one thing. There are too many unknown variables. I'll concede the possibility. Nothing more than that. However, let us move on to Celestia shoving her responsibilities onto you. What? sent six ponies off on a dangerous journey to show away a dragon that almost killed you. I think you're mistaking parental love for a lazy neglect. Suppose you had asked for help. Do you really think she would have come for you? 100%. Way of blaming yourself for her failings. Very well. And what about? What 
about to But don't you see? This never would have happened if you hadn't listened to Celestia. Neither of you had proof that you could trust Discord. That's what friends do. They trust each other. True friends don't need proof for that. You don't need proof. I've had enough of this. a little sloppy. Firstly, I had to figure out where I was. If this were a dream, if I were taken to the actual castle of the two sisters, we aren't in an alternate timeline either. The time scroll was destroyed. The only thing that makes sense is a different dimension. Chrysalis wouldn't have such an intimate knowledge of my adventures. Neither would anyone else who has a grudge for that matter. And since you confirmed events unfolded pretty much the same in both our timelines, none of this world's villains could have done this either. As to who you are, I knew you couldn't be any of my enemies. But the giveaway was that you somehow knew everything that went on inside my head, except for what mattered most. And since we're in a different world, the only thing that makes sense is... Nothing. 
make me like you, Twilight Sparkle. I'm so much more than that. I'm who you should be. All of what you are now, it's wrong. How dare you allow this tyrant to continue to enslave you? And it all will be corrected, especially because the liar has come. Now we can finally see her for the evil which she is. What do you mean? Princess Celestia. Without our permission? Really? I could never resent you. But you should feel angry. You should hate her. Excuse you? We may be similar, but you are not me. You have no control over what I feel. So what if Celestia made me a princess without asking me first? Let me make this clear for you. I don't care.
nothing to do with you. But why? I've only done what I thought was best for you. I've given you so many opportunities to find happiness and joy over the years. You wanted so much from life, and I gave it to you when you earned it. Every struggle that has come your way has made you better. And when it didn't, I protected you in any way I could. You changed things! Everything was fine before you did this to me. I enjoyed just being your faithful student. had to change. Why did you make everything change? Because you were destined for more than that. I saw the potential in you to be great, and I wanted you to have it. I may have provided opportunities, but in the end, you shined by your own actions. It was difficult, but you came out of each struggle braver, smarter, stronger, and a better friend. Every day you made me so proud. I did all of this for you, because I love you. No! No! That's a lie! You, you can't love me! You can't! She, she's evil! She doesn't care about me! She's a tyrant! She, she doesn't love me! Celestia, can't we help her? Sadly. Someone else could. Come, we should leave before they arrive. He doesn't love me. He doesn't love me.